गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल रीड सोशल साइंस जोग्राफी चैप्टर ट्वेल्व लाइफ इन द डेजर्ट इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ डेजर्ट्स लोकेशन ऑफ हॉट एंड कोल्ड डेजर्ट्स लाइफ स्टाइल्स ऑफ टू डेजर्ट दैट इज सहारा एंड लद्दाख लेट्स बिगिन द टॉपिक फर्स्टली वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डेजर्ट वॉट इज डेजर्ट डेजर्ट इज अ रीजन which has three characteristics that is it should have extreme temperature annual rainfall should be less than 25 cm and it should have scanty vegetation on the basis of temperature there are two types of desert that is hot desert and cold deserts the deserts are very dry and have extreme temperature with sparse vegetation now we will talk about the location of hot and cold desert if we talk about the hot desert then students hot deserts are located between 20 degree to 30 degree north or south of equator this zone of subsidizing or sinking air they are found on western margins of all the continent except to europe and antarctica students some of the example of hot deserts are sahara kalahari arabian great australian atacama thar and mexican desert they are found in tropical region cold desert occur in antarctic greenland and near arctic rim they have short moist and moderately warm summer with fairly long cold winters students some of the examples are atacama gobi great basin ladakh and nabim desert students today in this chapter we will discuss about two desert that is sahara desert and ladakh let's discuss about the sahara a hot desert students do you know where the sahara desert is it is in the continent of africa and is the largest hot desert and third largest desert behind antarctica and arctic if we discuss about its location then it is located in north africa students sahara desert is extended from atlantic ocean in the west to red sea in the east it merges with savanna grasslands in the south and mediterranean sea and atlas mountains in the north it covers over 8.5 million kilometers square area its east west extent is 500 km and north south extent is 1900 km students now we will discuss about its land the sahara desert has variety of land features but most famous for the sand dunes fields that are often depicted in movies the dunes are 600 feet high but they cover only 15% of the entire desert students do you know sahara desert is also known as el kela means the emptiness it is spread over 11 countries that is morocco libra egypt sudan chad mali niger western sahara and many more sahara desert is full of sand around 1/4 of it is covered with vast stretches of sand dunes called ur as we can see in the picture besides sands there are extensive area of pebbles and gravels around which is known as reg and the area of smooth bare bedrocks known as hamda they are formed when strong winds blow away the sand particles and lay on the bare bedrocks the highest peak in sahara is amigosi a shield volcano in the tibbest range of the northern chad 
most of the water found in the Sahara today is in the form of seasonal or intermittent streams called wadis. These get flooded by downpours. Nile is the only river which flows along the eastern border of the desert. The Niger River flows through the southern West Sahara, which is the only freshwater lake of Sahara. Do you know? It is Lake Chad. Students, now we will discuss about the climate of Sahara. Students, as we discussed earlier, the climate here is hot and dry and its temperature ranges from below freezing point that is below 0 degree in winters to more than 55 degrees Celsius in summer. The highest temperature of the world that is 57.7 degrees Celsius is recorded in El Ziaza in Libya. Humidity here is very low and sky are cloudless. Rainfall varies region to region. Northern part receive rainfall in winter and southern in summer. If we talk about the natural vegetation and wildlife of Sahara, then due to the unfavorable climatic condition and lack of water growth of vegetation in the Sahara hinders. Thorny bushes and shrubs are only vegetation found here. The main plant species are cactus, acacia, bamboo, date plum grown near the oasis. Plants here have long roots and thick barks with waxy leaves to reduce the loss of moisture. Species found here are antelopes, gazelles, camel, hyenas, foxes, snakes, lizards and variety of insects. Now if we discuss about the economy of Sahara, then Sahara is majorly empty. Students, most people are nomads and other have settled down in the places where agriculture is possible. So, the main occupation here is animal rearing, cultivation of crops and mining. Here all the people live in temporary shelters or tents. They rear animals like camels, sheep and goat for their milk, meat and hides. In recent, people of the Sahara have no longer led a nomadic life and had settled down. Students, do you know the only fertile region here is near Nile River Valley. Here water for irrigation comes from a swan high dam. Crops grown here are wheat, maize, barley and millets. Cotton cultivated near Nile River Valley which is important commercial crop. Students, the oasis and the vegetate of fruits like date, plums, figs, apricot and olives are also grown here. Students, this region is called Fela. Mineral oil found in Algeria, Libra and Egypt. This is also rich in natural gas. Some other important minerals which are found here are coal, iron ore, copper, uranium and manganese. Our next heading is transport in cities. Transport in Western Sahara is very limited by sea, roads and air. With camel being primary means of transport in desert area. Motorways is easy to travel. Construction of Trans-Sahara Railway will further connect all the peoples of Sahara. Airway have connected remote and inaccessible area thus facilitating travel to most part of this region. The Nile River and its canal provide inland waterways. Port said Alexandria and Tripoli are the biggest port on the Mediterranean Sea. Timbuktu in Mali is important trading port. 
the largest city in the sahara is cairo the capital of egypt it the importance tourist spot pyramid and sphinx at gaza if we discuss about the life of people here so the climatic condition made the life of human difficult natives adopt lifestyles accordingly people living there wear loose and light colored clothes to protect themselves from heat and dust for protection from intense heat houses thatched flat roofed and thick walls with small windows the water containers made there are made up of goat and camel skin to keep the water cool students the economy here is increased by two activities that is mineral oil and mining of other animals people here import goods from other countries to fulfill their requirements gradually the people of sahara have started leading to the urbanized life now we will move to the second type of desert that is ladakh a cold desert students there are both hot and cold deserts hot desert that is thar desert which is located in the western part of india and if we talk about cold desert that is ladakh it is located in the northern part of india location of the cold desert that is ladakh is a union territory of india lies to the north of greater himalayas it is surrounded by karakum range in north and jaskar range in south if we talk about the land of ladakh then do you know ladakh is the highest altitude plateau region in india incorporating parts of himalayas and karakoram mountain ranges and upper indus valley river ladakh is also known as khapa khan means land of snow ladakh is made up of two words that is la and dak la stands for mountain passes and dak stands for country ladakh altitude varies 3000 meter in kargil to about 8000 meter in karakoram range karakoram range and jogi are several mountain passes pengong toso and toso muriri are important lake in this region now we will see about the climate of ladakh ladakh is a high altitude cold desert in the rain shadow of the himalayas with 300 of the sunshine and only 100 mm of precipitation annually students the average temperature here is 25 degrees celsius in summers but in winters night it is minus 15 degrees celsius there is little or no atmospheric moisture here the natural vegetation and life wildlife vary in river valley popular and willow grows patches of grasses and shrubs can be spotted on the higher slopes wildlife here found are yak mountain goat wild sheep tibetan wild ass called kiang birds like pigeon chukai robins restarts and tibetan snow cocks are also found here if we discuss about the economy of ladakh so the economy of ladakh has been based on small farms and herding many are engaged in animal rearing agriculture handicrafts and tourism activities here yak sheep and goats are raised for their milk cheese butter meat wool and hair for clothing you all have heard about the word pashmina it is a fine quality wool which is collected from the goat from which sweaters and shawls are made ladakh is famous for its shawls blankets and carpet students in ladakh agriculture is practiced in indus valley on the lower slope of mountains 
wheat barley vegetables and fruits like apple apricot walnuts and grapes are also grown here due to decrease in temperature no cultivation of crop is possible in winters therefore handicrafts and weaving of carpets is done in winter there is no major industry in the region tourism is an important economic activity ladakh sees a number of domestic and international tourists every year transport and cities road construction is not possible in all the part of this region due to this there are only a few motorable roads in this region students do you know which is the largest town in the ladakh it is le it is the administrative and commercial headquarter of the region it connected to the kashmir valley by national highway a1 a road that passes through the jozi la pass students le is connected to srinagar by the road which passes through khardungala highest portable road in the world is manali le road two main towns which are connected by air services here are le and kargil now we will discuss the life of people due to cold dry climatic condition people of ladakh faces many problems students their hard works is needed to meet their daily needs in ladakh houses are built from sun dried bricks and have flat roofs houses built near the river banks where farming is possible so as they can get food dressing culture and tradition its food dressing and culture is similar to as tibet here the population is majorly buddhist and muslims common language spoken here is ladakhi students some of the famous ones are hemis thriski shre and lamaru people of western ladakh are mostly muslim they speak balti language steps which are taken to improve the economy and the lifestyles of people here are developing the irrigation facilities for them developing fodder production to feed the livestock in winter meeting all the fuel demands for planting more trees generating hydroelectric power to its maximum potential to improve the communication and transportation facilities thank you